Good morning, my name is Reverend Dr. Liz Theo Harris, and I am co-chair with Reverend Dr. William Barber of the Poor People's Campaign, a national call for moral revival. And I stand here today as a Presbyterian minister, as a granddaughter of undocumented immigrants, as a mother, as a sister, as a daughter. So indeed, this Christmas story that we're upon right now. We celebrate Las Posadas, where immigrants are refused entry, where homeless people are refused housing, where those who would be free are refused justice. But we stand here to say that this doesn't have the last word. That when we, the poor, clergy, Muslims, Jews, Christians, atheists, immigrants, indigenous, black, brown, white, young and old, poor and rich, come together, we can declare that everybody has a right to live. We can declare that love has no border. Mm. We declare that somebody is hurting our people. Mm that somebody is hurting our migrants, that somebody is hurting our sisters and our brothers and our mothers and our fathers and our children. And it's gone on for far too long and we won't be silent anymore. So a year ago this month, we called for and launched the Poor People's Campaign, a national call for moral revival. And we inaugurated that that launch with 40 days of nonviolent moral fusion direct action. Folks in 40 states across the country and in Washington, D.C., engaged in six weeks of nonviolence, civil disobedience, organizing, education, culture, and uh, we had the largest and most expansive wave of nonviolent civil disobedience in the 21st century. Folks have continued to organize, continued to kind of build power in their communities. We're, we're trying to show the interconnection of five interlocking injustices, systemic racism, systemic poverty, ecological devastation, militarism in the war economy, and this distorted moral narrative of religious nationalism. And poor people and moral leaders and activists and advocates and all people of conscience have been joining in the tens of thousands trying to build a movement that can change the direction the society is going in. So that's why we're here today. There were dozens of people arrested. There were hundreds of people that were prepared to risk arrest, saying that the border wall is immoral, saying that detention and deportation need to end, saying we need to demilitarize our communities and our border, saying that, that this should be a safe haven, we should have asylum. And those are folks from all faith traditions, from all walks of life, from all parts of the country. And so, you know, we're trying to build a movement. And that movement is a fusion movement, a movement from below that has moral standard bearers at the core of it. Um, and I think what we saw today was a powerful witness of moral standard bearers and, and people of, of conscience and goodwill who have said that, you know, we shouldn't have borders, we shouldn't have border walls, we shouldn't have the detention and deportation of our brothers and sisters, and we shouldn't tear gas families. Um, and so I think it was a powerful witness, and uh, we're still trying to figure out, you know, how to how to both come together and have more people, you know, join the fight, and and how to get the folks that have been arrested um, into a safer place. You know, people across this country have a, a role to play in, in building a, a movement that that pulls together just immigration and mass incarceration, that pulls together issues of voter suppression and racism and healthcare for all and living wage jobs. And, and we're trying to pull everyone together into something that is bigger than any one issue, any one group of people. The American Friends Service Committee is having a 
a week of action, calling for a week of action. Um, so there's activities happening in people's communities all over. Um, the Poor People's Campaign, a national call for moral revival, has coordinating committees in 40 states across the country. No matter where you live, you need to come together in times such as these and, and, and make this the country and the world that it, it can be and needs to be.